So how do we bond teeth to base material? Well, this is super easy. So here I'm, I'm popping off these supports. They just basically crumble off. Um, when you keep them 0.5 millimeters or smaller, I've done 0.4 and you have a well cal calibrated machine, um, supports just come, come off so easy. It's, it's butter smooth. So now we have our supports popped off and we're gonna go ahead and do our initial bonding here. So um, I'm using an eyedropper, kind of a dropper here in a amber glass jar so that it doesn't cure the Flexera Smile Ultra Plus here. So I have Flexera Smile Ultra Plus um, and I'm dropping it in these tooth wells. Now it's important to note that the base has not been post-processed in the autoflash yet, neither has the uh, arch of teeth. So you're going to press it into the wells that um, you're going to see the excess material gush out. That's what you want. You want to overfill the wells. Don't be shy. The worst thing that you could do is get an air bubble and not have enough material in there. So uh, especially me, I make my pocket gaps 200 micrometers, so it's um, kind of a, a loose fit, and that's the way I like it. Taking a microfiber cloth here, spreading that excess material down over the teeth, and that's going to create this like really cool high shine. This is not the time to be super careful and get every little ounce of material off, because that material is actually working in your favor. Like I said, it's like a little clear coat. Now, I'm going to use a Blue Phase Power Light by Avaclar. Um, this light is going to be um, special because it has a 385 nanometer bulb, which is um, the peak spectrum for curing photopolymers. And I'm going to cure each tooth 10 seconds. So this is extremely sped up here, um, so we don't waste time, but 10 seconds on each tooth. And that's going to be a very profound cure. Now, remember, I have not finalized the cure of this whole entire product in the Otoflash yet. So the next step is to trim off the supports that were remaining from when I broke them off initially. Um, to do this, I use this zirconia burr. It's actually a burr that's made out of zirconia, but specifically designed to trim acrylic and 3D printed materials. Um, I find that the, the flutes are really cool because it's, bi, it's a biphasic flute structure where the tip is smooth and the base is rough. So they just tear off those supports. Next, I switch to a Comet flame-shaped diamond. Um, and then one of my favorites is this polishing wheel. It's a coarse polishing wheel that's going to bump, bump off any supports that are kind of remaining that you might have missed with your eye. Um, and it's, it's special because it's not going to destroy your anatomy. Some, some coarse polishing wheels will just ruin all your surface texture and anatomy. So once I do that coarse, I'm going to switch to this medium grit um, kind of polishing wheel. And from here, we have a few options. You could add some custom characterization. So this is that denture with different lighting um, with some little bit of custom characterization, Flexera painted on top, and then put in the auto flash for 3,000 flashes on each side. Now, remember to let it cool between those flashes because Flexera base is a thermoplastic, so it will, um, high temperatures will distort it, so let it cool. Um, so if you want to learn more about these cool techniques, like um, the one hour denture, check out my webinar that's coming up April 1st. I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to have a blast. We're going to go through all sorts of um, novel techniques, such as using airbrushes to quickly colorize monolithic prints. It's a technique that is uh, really fun. Also one that I teach in my hands-on courses. So come check us out and let's hang out together at this webinar and see what we could do.